What's going on, Facebook, YouTube, wherever this video may end up, this your boy, Kel Minerva, back again with another video. Uh, first, I'd like to start off by wishing everyone a happy holidays. Um, I hope you guys ate a lot of turkey, ate a lot of ham, ate a lot of cake, ate a lot of cookies, you know, and um, have some wonderful times with your family. You know, it's the holidays, uh, blessed time, good time of year, you know what I'm saying? I know it's been a while since I've done some videos, so today I'm going to come back with another one. Now, today, this may be a controversial topic, right? Today, the topic is men love harder than women. Now, I know a lot of women are going to be like, oh, no, that's not true. You know, that's bullshit and this and that. Now, I'm going to explain why. Before y'all go off on me in the comments, I'm going to explain why I say this. Now, let's start with um, women loving harder than men. Can we really say that when it's a known fact that women select men based off the utility that, that they can provide? Hence the, um, the, uh, the statement, happy wife, happy life, basically means if the man does everything to make the woman happy, you know what I'm saying, uh, she will stay and she will be happy and this and that. Even though we know that's not true, given the divorce rate is uh, over 50% now, 80% of divorces are initiated by women. Um, I, can, I spoke in a separate video where you know, the preconceived notion of what a man's supposed to do is pay bills, you know, uh, take care of his woman and provide and this and that. I've done all that and the shit still doesn't work, you know, because for whatever reason, she can be not happy and uh, the relationship can end, you know. Um, it's, it's been scenarios where I've heard about people that have, you know, done X, Y, Z, you know, uh, didn't cheat didn't do whatever and a woman uh his woman left him for a lesser man you know a guy that was a local rapper they had three kids by three different women you know um that couldn't you know now of course i know that uh providing financially is, is is one side of the coin that doesn't mean that you're doing every single thing but um you know anyway when a man loves a woman right a woman doesn't have to do anything for him to love her she he just has to like her he just has to want to be with that woman. That alone for a man is enough, you know. Men, for one, never tell women exactly how we feel. And I know a lot of women might say, well, how is that true? You know, because simply women can cannot handle. A woman is not designed to handle the burden of a man. She's not designed to handle the inner thoughts of a man's mind does that mean that a woman is weak does that mean that a woman is less than a man no it does not but from my own personal experiences and from the things i've seen you know it's never wise to tell your woman exactly what's on your mind because that shit never goes right you know you could flip it on one side where you could tell a woman exactly how you feel about her. you could tell her how much you love her how much you want to be with her how much you want to do right you want to do this you want to do that and that shit will lead to nowhere. Because once you do that, you've given up your power in the relationship. You know, you've given up a certain power that you have. And I'm not saying this as, you know, you're supposed to dominate women and, you know, you're supposed to have all this control and have women by the neck and all the so, so, uh, SJW shit that I hear women saying. And, you know, uh, all the common uh, attacking points that women will use to shoot down these arguments. You know, a rich man would take a woman off the streets if he love her. He'd take a prostitute, he'd take a stripper, you know, and be with this woman and try to make this woman a wife, you know, have this woman represent him in public. You know, he's a Fortune 500 CEO, whatever. He would take this woman and be with this woman and build this woman up. Will women do that for a man? Possibly, but more often, more often, absolutely not because women are her programs by nature women are bred this goes from insects to fucking whatever you know just it's female nature to always seek the best the best potential mate you know i could be a guy worth six figures you know i can fuck good i can provide i can take care of this woman and her possible kids because that is very common these days you know and if a guy comes along that makes 250000 all the work that I've put into that woman, all the work and things that I've done for that woman, it means nothing. She will leave off the sole basis that this dude makes more. He can provide more. He can send her on more vacations. 
He can do more for her kids. You know, she's gone. Whereas men, men, the average man, you know, don't matter how good of a slot talker you are, we will never have the options that a woman has. We just don't have it. A man walk out the door right now and he's butt ass naked and could be like, hey, what woman wants to have sex with me? What woman wants to be with me? Your ass going to jail. A woman can walk out her front door ass naked, no matter how she looks, and scream in the neighborhood, who wants to be with me? Who wants to have sex with me? There will be a line of men at the door right then, ready to provide, ready to take care of her, ready to raise her kids, ready to do whatever it takes to be with that woman. They have that in their mind. They know that they can always do better. They can always, you know, upgrade. Whereas for men, is it true that we could possibly always upgrade? Yeah, possibly, but the chances of that happening is slim to none. If you get a good woman that's in shape with no kids and she makes a decent amount of money, you probably, a man is going to lock down on that if, he's, if he has any sense. Because he knows that, you know, the chance of him meeting another woman like that, especially in this climate, is slim to none. It's, it's not going to happen. So, you know, men love women for who they are, for, you know, for their personality, for, you know, just their overall presence and how they make us feel, you know. Uh, men are logical creatures by nature. How they make us feel plays a big part in that. But an, uh, 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 another thing that plays a big part in that is how we feel about them. Whereas with women, it's all about how they feel and what they can get. That's why it's known that a relationship is only in trouble when the woman isn't happy. You know, there's there, uh, uh, men aren't exactly happy a lot of the time but us as men we try to see the good in women and you know be willing to work with them regardless you know of what their shortcomings may be or if they're emotionally unstable or you know several other factors that play into why we aren't happy we're willing to overlook a bunch of things red flags included you know to be with this woman and see the good in them and try not to be so negative whereas women you know it's all about what you can do for them and how you make them feel. You know, do I approve of women uh, dating drug dealers and things like that? Absolutely not, because it, it doesn't work out well for them. But drug dealers are manipulative and they are leaders by nature. You have to have some kind of alpha in you to be a drug dealer. You know, if you're not going to get robbed of them, you have to have something alpha in you to do it. So, you know, uh, they lead these women. They, they uh, dominate these women. And things like that. They tell them what they want to hear. They make them feel like they're the greatest thing in the world. And that's all that it, it, it takes for them. You know. And when they snap out of that shit. And another guy comes along. They're gone. You know. Uh, the divorce rate. 80% uh, of divorces aren't initiated by women. Just because. You know. It's that way. Because they know that they can do it. And two. They know they'll benefit from it. And three. You know. They know that their options are unlimited. You, they know that they can do better. Whereas with men, we just, you know, it's, it's, it's really no telling, you know, for us if we can do better, if we can upgrade from this, this good woman with no kids or whatever the case may be. There's just really never no telling, you know, so men are more inclined to try to see things through. You know, we will we will suffer in silence, you know, just weighing the options of what we will lose by leaving this woman. Men suffer in silence a lot. You know, men put up with the abuse mental and physically you know uh, to try to make things work to try to see things through whereas women they aren't inclined to do that you know as soon as they aren't happy or they feel like they aren't getting what they want or you know whatever they're out of there you know so that's just my thoughts on um men undoubtedly love harder than women you know, uh, as it's a controversial, uh, controversial topic because women usually say, you know, well, I've put up with this, I've put up with that, but you chose to do that. You know, women aren't stupid. They knew that this guy was not the long-term option, but they were willing to see it through because, uh, more often than not, women do like to be able to say, you know, I put up with X, Y, Z and we, uh, we overcame. It's like a Cinderella story. You know what I mean? You know, where they date the drug dealer felon, the guy that's in and out of jail, that uh, overcame and ended up becoming a Fortune 500 CEO, you know, does that happen? Yeah, it does, but then the chances of it happening is slim to none, but they continue to try anyway, you know, so.
those are just my thoughts man you guys comment uh like comment and subscribe you know let me know how you feel in the comment section you know because i definitely would like uh some opposing views on this you know especially from the ladies you know of course this is from a man's perspective like i said my channel is geared around a man's perspective you know so i don't know everything but this is just my perspective and my opinion and um a lot of it comes from my experience you know and just for the women out there that are going to say not all of course i'm not saying all women but all women are hypergamous by nature it's just the way that it is you know is being hypergamous a bad thing eh, i wouldn't say it. so you know i mean who wouldn't want to be with the best person that they can be with it's just the way that it is you know so like comment and subscribe share this video let me know what you guys think in the comment section um, it's your boy Kevin Nerva, man. I hit you guys back later on. Again, happy holidays. Uh, everybody be safe, stay out of trouble. Go to work, make that money. You know, and uh, for you guys out there, quit getting these bitches pregnant, man. This child support killing y'all. <laughs> All right, man. I'll see you guys another time.